Good morning, guys. Today was one of those days where you just roll out of bed, just throw your hair up, sleep in yesterday's makeup, and just hope for the best. I am on my way to get my nails done. As I told you guys yesterday, my nail lady is gonna be very upset with me. She's gonna be like, what did you do? I love my nail lady, though. We have a very good relationship, and she's gonna be very happy when I tell her that I'm moving out. Let's go get my nails done, because I just, they all feel like they're just gonna fall off my nails. It's not gonna, not gonna end well. So yeah, I'm gonna go do this really quick. It's 10 a.m. and then I'm gonna go back home, edit yesterday's vlog, and then start painting. Yes! So I'll see you guys when my nails are a little bit better than this. There we go! I feel so much better. So good. Just so good. Anyways, I need to go home now. It's already after 11 o'clock and I need to go eat. I'm starving and I need to edit. So let's go do that. And I need to fix this face because also it's a little rough. finally done it's scheduled to go up in about a half hour but first before I head over to the apartment I want to get out of yesterday's makeup because I feel really gross and put on some fresh makeup and much better that transition probably sucked because I set my camera down on my makeup bag like an idiot so I kind of tried to like strategically get around my camera just to pick up the products and try not to ruin the shot even though the camera moved a little bit anyways blabbing about stupid YouTube stuff that you don't even care about I'm ready for the day I just threw on a little bit of makeup and probably six minutes total so now I'm ready but you know your girl can't ruin the ooh baby merch so we need to change into painting clothes and here we go again another day another day of renovations I don't know it's currently 2 55 I told Zane I would be there at 3 o'clock so if we leave right now we should be able to get there at exactly three o'clock on the dot. Let's go. Three o two, you guys. I'm gonna say that we made it at three because if I didn't take those few montage clips that you just saw, then we would have made it at three o'clock. That took like an extra two minutes, so we made it. Hey, what's going on, baby? I'm here. Are you here already? Yep. Nice. I told right, you, right, 3 right. o'clock. Yeah, but you know what happened? I saw you posted, and I'm like, oh, she's going to be late. Oh, no, it's all, it's scheduled, my video. Oh, all right, give me a second. Okay. My RJ, do you want to play with bubbles? Do you? <laughs> Let's play real quick, okay? And then me and Zane have to paint. Bubbles, 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 <laughs> Mimi, shush, shush. <laughs> Baby, shut up! I love how he puts his little nose against it. Are you smelling them? I got it. I got it. I got it. Go, RJ. Go, RJ. Go, RJ. You want to do it? What do you think? You're better than me at it or something? <laughs> what was that little trot? <laughs> you the sweetest boy ever. Oh God, he's on the loose. Oh, there's the thing for Bella. Yeah, it's still out here. Zane cleaned this cage out. We found it downstairs when we were organizing. Um, this is what I'm gonna bring Bella in when we bring her next week-ish, whenever we move in. I'm kind of nervous because I've never really put her in a cage before besides when we brought her home, which I don't remember at all. Other than that, she has been in the house her whole life. And I'm pretty sure, I have no idea when we got Bella. Isn't that messed up? I'm pretty sure she's about seven or eight years old. Um, so that whole time she's been in the house by herself, no other pets, and hasn't been transferred anywhere else, so she doesn't know any different. So bringing her is gonna be an experience. Don't worry, I'll film it all. I'm a, I, I don't know how she's gonna react. I think she's gonna be very, very chatty, because she's already a chatty cat. So just bringing her into the car and then into a new environment, she's gonna like not shut up, probably. Alrighty, gals and pals. First thing on the agenda is to do a second coat on our big French doors. By the way, um, thank you for the get well wishes on yesterday's vlog. I'm feeling much, much better. Still a little bit weak and as you can hear, a little bit stuffy, but definitely a lot better. Here's what the doors look like when they're totally finished. I think they look so beautiful. This actually looks like you bought it like this. Like I feel like you can't even tell that it was wood, like brown wood. I think it looks great. So I'm very excited to see these when they're finished. As you guys have been seeing, Zane has been wearing sweatshirts in all the vlogs because he didn't want to ruin his tattoo. So now we just, we taped a paper, a uh, plastic bag around it. I should be fine. Oh, there's paint on my face. 
I'm sorry, whatever. It's gonna stay there. I'm getting sick of talking about doors. I'm sure you're sick of hearing about it, but we just finished those. And over here, this door had like some sort of stains on it and I painted over it two layers. It's still showing through the paint, as you can see. And we had them in the oil burner room, so I'm thinking that oil just like splashed on them. That's probably what it is. So we're gonna take this stain blocker right here, put it on there, and hopefully, it won't make it come back again. So let's see, let's see how it goes. We'll just put it on the little stains. I'm not even filming it. It's dripping. I think water got in it. We had this can outside, I think water got in it. You don't care, dude? I th oh, I thought you were talking to the vlog, you are talking to me? Both of you, we're a family. I don't think it's gonna work. Cause I got, I think water got in it. Well, it's stain killer, so let it dry and let's see what happens. I thought we were throwing it out. Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna um, come back, so I'm not gonna get too excited about that because I think there was water in the can and it got watery and now it's not really gonna work. Anyways, Zane went upstairs because he wanted to play some duty head Call of Duty tournament. <laughs> I am going to start painting the rest of the apartment because I just, I'm ready to move in. I'm sick of this renovation stuff, okay? I even posted on my Instagram, you guys would have saw it. If you follow me, I posted it on my story that I was looking at old videos and I don't even look like myself anymore. Like, I need to dye my hair, I need to do my makeup properly, I need to get dressed, I need to self tan. Like, I am just letting myself go within these renovations. I am so ready to not do that anymore. <sighs> I'm just like hoping and praying that we have enough paint for the rest of the apartment. I think we do. We have a little less than half of this big five gallon jug, so I think we should be okay. So since I'm a little bit more picky about painting than Zane is, I usually do the edges and he usually rolls the walls. So I'm gonna start by doing all the edges. I'm gonna start with the mudroom. I do have to move these two shelves though out of the way, so. Um, let's just start with this side of the room where the shelves are. How about that? I'm gonna put on some music and jam out while I paint. That's the only way to do it. Before I do anything though, can I just say that reading through the comments from you guys is literally my favorite thing to do. And this comment by, um, let's see if I mispronounce this, Angelica Baranello is the sweetest thing ever. It made my day, so thank you so much. She basically said like, don't apologize for having like a shorter vlog and like feeling bad about it. And like, if I post anything, like she'd be happy with it. So that literally made my day and made me feel so much better. So thank you so much, I love you. sad about that. I said I was only gonna do the edging in the um, mud room, but we ended up going all the way into the kitchen. So I got it all done in here. I managed to work my way around these shelves. And then we went all the way into the kitchen. I stopped there. That's not missing, it's just a glare, I think. Yeah, it's just super wet, so it looks like it was missing. Okay, anyways, I wanna be able to move this fridge before I even start over there, because we're gonna have to paint behind it anyway, so I might as well have Zane move that. So, we got all this done, very proud. Even this side, too. But it's already like 6.30, so I'm gonna see if Zane is almost done, because I need his help. And he's been playing for like a decent amount of time, so he can come help. We have to vacuum up all of this um, sanding dust before I even attempt to paint the bottom edges because there is a really, really thin piece of white molding, but if there's sand on the floor and stuff, it's gonna get on the brush and then it'll ruin the paint. I think I hear him coming, is he coming? False alarm, okay. I also want him to, like I said, move the fridge so that we can paint and start painting. So, let's go get Zane and the vacuum. Why are you in the dark? So good? Are you almost done? Um. <laughs> no. 
We won the first match and we're waiting for the second match to start. I'm You're not even playing a match right now? No, well this is, I am. This is like a public match though. This isn't part of the tournament. I, I won the first one though. Congrats, I need your help. What's up? I can come help you now. I'm not doing I'm waiting. No, like I want you down there. God. I gave you the heads up. Whatever, you guys. I don't need it. I'll just vacuum and paint myself. I'm a strong, independent woman. Okay, we are vacuumed, and now we can finally start painting the mudroom. Very, very excited. Zane's mom just called me and said she's bringing home papooses. Very excited. By the way, I know you guys kept saying that you see the El Salvadorian flag over there. Zane's stepdad is El Salvadorian. I've seen a few comments, and I've answered like one or two, but just so you guys know, uh, that's Zane's dad. So, they're bringing home, I mean, stepdad. Huh. They're bringing home papooses. I'm really excited. Of course I am, because I just, food. Food! Alright, so, let's just, I want to at least get some paint on the walls before they get home, though. Those were so good, you guys. Zane did not cheat with me. Well, not cheat. I think I had enough calories left. We're just gonna pretend that I did. I think I did. Um, anyways, we are making some good progress painting. We got this whole area done, as you guys can see. Oh, baby. This paint always looks so splotchy when you do it, and then when it dries, it looks fine, but... Anyways, we got this whole area done. Let me shut this door so that it looks better. Oh, baby. I just sounded like Oscar. Uh, babe, you missed a shit ton of spots over here. Yeah, I couldn't get to that yet. Oh. Our mudroom is basically almost done except for those few spots. And we got this whole wall is painted. And now we're moving on to the kitchen. This whole wall is painted too. We just did a few little touch-ups. Bathroom is obviously done. That's been done. Oh, wait. Did I miss some spots? Oh, I missed some spots up there too. Oh. This paint, you can't see the missed spots until it dries. Yeah, I know. I just looked like you missed a bunch of spots. Yeah, wait. I wanted to ask you, what are we going to do with this radiator? Because we didn't spray paint it before we painted. Even the same one over there. I don't think we did the one around the wall. No, we didn't. But I don't think that one's as bad. That one looks white to me. I mean, let's try to clean it. Let's see how white we can get it. And then, because, oh, you know why? Wait. Like, these are white. The other ones weren't white. They were like green. Oh, yeah, this is white. Yeah, so I think if we clean it, it'll be fine. And if it's not, then we just tape around it. Yeah, yeah. Tape the wall. It's true. It's true. Okay, so I did all around the radiators, or radiators, as you guys like me to say. Zane just moved the fridge out, and if you guys remember from a previous vlog, there was a friend going in and out of this wall in the corner. Yeah, no, no. You girl got the clock. Let me just get back here. Ain't nobody coming through. Wait, babe, I want a bug spray, too. Should I clock first? Yeah. There's two dead bugs! I know, that's what made me think of it. Because I, I think I sprayed back here. But let me do it again. Wait, we gotta get these bugs out of here, and then I'll do it again. There's three dead bugs! Ew, 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 ew. Okay, I got the caulk on down there. No bugs are getting through. And if we have extra molding, we're gonna put molding there too, because... No. Because no. Babe, can we sweep before we push this back? Yeah. Okay, get the broom. Um, we painted the gray, we kind of just eyeballed it, we didn't measure the fridge, so we're gonna hope that we did enough of it, so that we don't waste paint. I did over here too, because I know that when the fridge goes back, you can kind of see part of this outlet. Okay, moment of truth, let's see it. Wait, I didn't even paint that side. Which side? <laughs> that side of the fridge. I can get there though, actually. Oh, I think we did good. Yeah, good. Hey, we did pretty good. You would never know that it's not painted. Now that that's done, we need to paint all behind these cabinets, and I don't want to ruin anything that was up here, so Zane was a doll face and already moved most of it. So we're going to start painting the backsplash. We're going to get a stick-on backsplash for right here and then right behind the stove, but for now, we're going to paint it all gray. What is this? Did you put stuff in here? I'll put it back in. Oh, you took the bulb out? Oh, because yeah. it fried? It's out. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Wow, that literally did not take long at all. We finished all behind here. Wait, did we paint up there? What is that? Oh, it's a shadow from the cabinet. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We finished, we painted next to the pantry, we painted all the hallway, we painted over here. But everything is basically done. Right now we're about to do a walkthrough of the whole place and make sure, other than touch-ups over there, ooh, we need some good touch-ups. Other than touch-ups though, I think we're done painting. How exciting is that, babe? It's so exciting. It's so exciting. Zane's trying to get the Conor McGregor fight. We're finally done painting. Do you know how big of an accomplishment that is? 
I look I like I went it. through the gutter. Good job, baby. But listen. I didn't think I'd be able to get it. Baby! We just finished painting. Yeah, thank goodness. Well, not for it. We gotta do we some touch-ups. We did do touch-ups, but that's it. Yeah. Thank goodness. I didn't think it was gonna end. I can't believe we got this whole side of the apartment done in one day. I feel like it took us a really long time to get these three rooms done, but now that we got all this done, oh, I'm so happy. That means tomorrow, probably the next day, not tomorrow, because we still need to put up, um, uh, what do we need to do? There needs to go uh, a booby light. We have a new booby light that needs to go right there, uh, mm, mm, right there. And then my dad is also going to finish the bathroom, so we need to deep clean this before he can do anything. So we're probably gonna do that before we call it a night tonight. <laughs> or we might do it tomorrow because it's already like past midnight. <laughs> and now I think Zane's gonna wanna watch that fight. But we need to um, finish caulking this, put the molding, I've said that 500 times, but it's finally gonna happen tomorrow. And then we're gonna finish up the tabletop. We just need to stain it. We need to sand it and stain it. And then I think the next day after tomorrow, we're gonna go ahead and start floors. So we're gonna do carpet and this floor, this one right here. Ooh, it's so beautiful. I'm so excited. So I'm guesstimating like probably like three to four more days and we can move in. What? That's amazing. Oh my goodness. But anyways, while Zane is watching that, I'm going to head over here and clean up all of this Ooh, sawdust. That's a lot because if we're trying to put the carpet down today, uh, tomorrow or the next day, Maybe this needs to be gone, gone though. What, what, what? You don't have to, baby. I want to watch too. <laughs> I wish we had our couch sitting right here with our carpet and our TV on the wall. <laughs> and we can watch it. <laughs> Oh, come no! on. No! You guys, if you were watching the fight, the freaking other, what's his name? The other Khabib, guy? Khabib, the winner. Khabib, yeah. the winner, he just like jumped out of the ring like a psychopath, and now they're deciding if he should win or not, but we yeah, didn't pay for it. We're illegally streaming it, so don't do it at home, kids, but that's why it's freezing. I'm sitting over there sweeping, and all of a sudden I hear, oh, Connor won, and he's like, wait, wait a second. I mean, no, not Connor won, I said Connor lost. I mean, Connor lost, and he's like, Wait a second, and the other guy fucking jumped out of the ring like a crazy guy. They couldn't even stop him, all the security. And now he might be um, disqualified. He was like a little like a little squirrel jumping over the fence. Anyways, let's um let's clean this up. And there we go. That was a lot of freaking sawdust, you guys. I don't know if it looked like a lot, but that bag of me, yeah, that, that's all sawdust. Guys, Zane and I just had a moment for the books. I was singing Baby Shark, as I'm sure all of you know, because I think most of my viewers are moms or older. And he said, what were you just singing? Baby Shark? What? I have never met somebody that didn't know the Baby Shark song. You seem really amused. I'm so sorry. Um, you never heard the Baby Shark song? Yeah, I never heard it until just now. And I got him doing the dance. He was like, I'm doing the song. He was like, Baby Shark to do no, I sang it to him, and then like five minutes later, he's just like, baby, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's literally that's what moms say though. Like they'll like walk into the grocery store by themselves without their kids, and like, baby, <laughs> that's me. I feel like I sing it all the time, especially now that I'm around more kids. It's freaking catchy. I get why the kids like it. Anyways, you guys, that's gonna do it for us today. It's already 1:38 a.m. Oh, great. Damn, it's late. <laughs> Today's notification shout out goes to Irene Combs. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for thank your you, sweet Irene. comments. It means the world to me. I love you so very much. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next, next time. time. Bye guys.